Hello, in this video we are going to look at the UI text field item. The UI text field item provides a means for text input for the user. So it's just like the other text items that you can check out like UI text BM font, but instead of you just displaying some text to the user, you're actually getting text from the user. And with that you can process it maybe in some sort of login system or the user is just inputting the username for a high score, something along those lines. First of all, you want to make sure you've obviously got a project created and set up the UI plugin for Cocos 2DX. If you haven't, don't worry, it's super simple and we've created a video to make it even simpler and there is a link in the description. So, first of all, let's just create our text field. So, UI colon colon text field. I was going to name mine TXT field equals UI colon colon text field colon colon create this takes a few parameters the first of which is the placeholder so this is what is displayed like text wise before the user has input some text usually something like input text here or input username here something along those lines so the user knows what to do there so I'm going to put input text here and then the font name it just allows you to specify a font file so I've got one right here so I'm going to put fabric.ttf and for the font size well you can just specify a font size so I'm going to put 50 that should be big enough and I'm going to put text field nope txt field sorry and I'm going to show you a few parameters. You can do set max length. And for this, I'm going to put 12. So this allows you to have a maximum number of characters within the text field. So, for example, if you have a login system and you know your system doesn't allow usernames beyond 12 characters, then you just set the max length to 12. Because there's no point allowing them to enter more if your system doesn't handle it and txt field set max length enable just enable this there's also a way to set the password character which we'll show you in a moment but let's just show you this working first before we add the other child let's finally set the position oh I hate it when he does the node one set position and for this, we're just going to do a vec2. I'm just going to put it in an arbitrary place on the screen. 300 by 400. TXT field. I mean, this add child TXT field. Now, if we run this in our simulator, we'll get a text field that says input text here. And when we click on it, we'll be able to input some text. So there we go. We've got our text item right here so if I click on it the keyboard pops up and I can either click on it as the user would or because I'm developing on a Mac I can use my physical keyboard but I can't type anymore because we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and that 12 as I said before relates to this right here the max length I was also talking before that you can set a password character so let's just do that set password enabled so put this to true txt field set password style text for this I'm just going to put an asterisk if you ever notice when you're inputting a password pretty much into any system it's usually masked with some character it can be a star yeah, it's, it's usually is a star. Most likely, I've seen dashes as well. I've seen dots. But most likely, it's an asterisk. But this method right here allows you to do that instead of you checking yourself every time a character has been input, then changing that to an asterisk, but then also storing the value of it. This handles it all for you. So when you do actually come to processing the data, you're still processing it as whatever you typed in. So we click on this. You might be thinking, 
it's been clicked on, but why hasn't the keyboard popped up? Because I can type, and that that's just a simulator problem. If that happens, just go to hardware keyboard, toggle software keyboard, and it pops up on a physical device. It's okay. It's just this just happens in the simulator. So as you can see, I'm just typing in random characters, and asterisks are appearing. I can't type any more into the text field because the set max length still applies if obviously you want that if you don't then well you don't put that so once you've actually done that at the moment it works but the reality is it doesn't do anything you can't get that data but luckily there is a event that you a touch event that you can assign to your t t text field which is called when the user interacts with it to do that it's really simple first of all just copy and paste this code from the top because you just need to set up the ui plugin in the header and now we're just going to do void text field event this so this is the method that's going to be called when the user interacts with the text field so ref asterisk sender UI colon colon text field colon colon event type call it type let's copy and paste this to save some time and I just need to do hello world colon colon and in here I'm just going to do switch on the type that's what we're actually going to be switching on and there are four cases that we're going to check for so case one is ui text field colon colon event type colon colon attach with ime so this is called when the keyboard is launched or when the user first enables or when the user clicks the text field the keyboard doesn't necessarily have to appear for this so for this we're just going to put a log start typing rev 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 like a car and what we can do is actually just copy and paste this because this will save some time and for the next one we're going to put detach with IME so this is when the user changes focus from the text field so most likely they've clicked the return button or they've clicked away from it And the one after that, we're going to do insert text. So when the user, well, inserts text, I'm going to put percent %s text. Uh, actually, there is something I forgot to do. What we need to do is just cast this sender. Because at the moment, the sender is where the text or where this event has been called from which in this case will be the text field but our application this method doesn't know that it's a text field so what we need to do is do UI colon colon create a very own local text field name it whatever you want and just cast the sender to a text field so to do that equals dynamic cast UI colon colon text field asterisk actually I prefer it without spaces at the start and end of the angle bracket and inside here you just put the sender which is this right here so now what we can do is text field get string dot c underscore string and now finally we're going to create one last case which is called when the user deletes text so delete backward I'm going to put a default statement, break, semicolon. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. If you were to run this, this wouldn't actually do anything different from when we ran it before, simply because we haven't attached this event onto our text field. To do that, very simple, just do text field, nope, txt field, set, add event listener. I'm all over the place today. <laughs> cc underscore callback to and in here let's put hello world or whatever your class is called then put text field event or whatever you called it 
and for the target simply put this and now if we run this see what happens we'll get a text field as we did before visually the simulator will look no different but watch what happens when I click the input I click that start typing rev rev and if I start typing as you can see it's printing out exactly what I'm typing aka the entire text so that was this method right here now if I click the back button it's doing this method right here so if I click away from it it says oh forgot to change the log in this so that's really still saying text has stopped so if we just rerun this here we go click on it do some typing click away as you can see it says text has stopped so that's how you use the UI text field item if you have any questions about this or anything in general feel free to post them on our education platform so not learning co uk forward slash question dot php we will answer promptly promptly and so will the community don't worry there will be a link in the description to that as well along with anything else that you need please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.